Let's look at an example of how we can make a frequency table in Excel. Here we have data on 100 employees. We've got their employee ID, the number of hours they usually work, how many years of education, their income, etc. Let's try grouping them by education and figuring out what's the distribution of people's education here. So we're going to make a frequency table and we're going to try to figure out what groupings will make the most sense. So to make a frequency table, click anywhere in the table that we have going here, and we're going to go into table, and we're going to summarize it with a pivot table. So I click on summarize with pivot table, and first of all, it wants to find out, ooh, is this the right data that we're, going, we're looking at? And yes, it is. It's table one, and it's got that uh, a green line around it that indicates that that's the data we're using. We want to use an existing worksheet. A new worksheet would be these tabs down here. We want to keep it on this first tab. So we're going to choose existing worksheet. And let's put the upper left hand corner, say here in I3. We press OK. And now we get the pivot table builder. And we're going to be looking at education. So we click on education and it goes into our values there. And the default value is sum, but we don't want the, the default value sum. So let's click on that, and then right click on it, and we're going to change the field settings. So click on field settings, and instead of sum, we want to count. We want to count how many people are going to be in each group. So I click on count, and press OK, and so the count of people with education is 100. Well, that, we've got a divide them up into different rows. So go up to education and click and drag on that down into rows. Bring it down into rows here. And there we've got a number of, uh, of, of, of categories with people's education. And there's one person that has an eighth grade education, two that have a 10th grade, eight with the 11th, one almost finished high school, 12 graduated from high school, 13 had some college, 14 years. That's traditionally what we say people that graduate from trade school or community college. That's how much education they had. 16 years is graduating from a four-year college, and 18 is typically assigned to the value of people that have a master's degree. So that's a pretty good frequency distribution, but that's an awful lot of categories. Let's reduce these categories to something smaller. So I'm going to click in this table here. So now uh, I've selected a cell there. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to group and outline. And I want to go to group. And it says starting at 8, ending at 18. And I want to go by 1. Let's, let's do it by 2. So let's type in 2. And we don't want 18 to go into the last group. We want it to be in its own group. So I'm going to put ending at 20. So that will give a, a whole separate group for 18. So I press OK. And now we have people that have a junior high education up to 10th grade, 10th to 12th grade, 12th uh, high school graduate, uh, some college. We've got a nice group of categories here. But there's a problem is that there's an ambiguity. If somebody went up to the 10th grade, which one are they in? Which category are they in? Are they in this category or this category? Well, the way that Excel does this is that when it says 8 to 10, it really means 8 to 9.999999 and not quite 10. So to remove that ambiguity, we're going to change that. We could, oh, let me get this out of the way so I can see what we're going to change. I'm going to change this from 8 to a little less than 10. Now, traditionally, when we talk about education, we do it in half years. So I'm going to change it from 8 to 9, 9.5. So I do that. And then the people that do have a 10th grade education go into this one, but not the people that have finished 12th grade. This is really only up to 11.5. And then the people that have a high school education are here, but not the 14s. The 14s would go in the below. So I'm going to change this to 
Eh, whoops. And this one I'm going to do 14. So this will be people that uh, graduated from community college or trade school, but didn't graduate from a four-year college. And then the 16 to 18 will be people that graduated from college, but didn't go to or finish grad school 17.5 and then 18 to 20 which is really just people that have a master's degree i'm going to call that 18 plus and so now we've got some nice categories that reflect accurately how many uh, people in this company uh, have what levels of education we can see that most of them are high school graduates but they didn't finish uh, trade school or community college there is a good number of college graduates and a, a good number of people who have master's degrees also.